I am now going to take you guys for a ride on the world's fastest train. The terminal is Xinjiang. They don't actually advertise this as the station, but if you're going to have a magnetic levitation train station, this is what it would look like. Right, let's buy a ticket. The Magalev railway station. I was actually going to put this onto a separate video, but the journey only lasts about 7 minutes and 20 seconds, so it's hardly justified. And here it comes now. Two hundred and sixty eight miles an hour or four hundred and thirty one kilometers an hour. This baby flies. I've only reached 301 kilometers an hour. I feel ripped off, but then again, you shouldn't believe everything you read on Wikipedia. Now, apparently, this broke 500 kilometers an hour during its tests. It's still an exhilarating ride. Planes, trains, everything, including maglevs. Right, there's a McDonald's there. I'm gonna grab something to eat. On second thought, why eat at McDonald's when you can have spicy tofu? I wasn't kidding when I said this was spicy. She's all burning the mouth off me. It is good, though. really good. Better than McDonald's. That was seriously good food. Beats a Big Mac any day. Right, going back into uh, Shanghai with the Mac Lab again. Two maglev rides in an hour. I need to slow things down a little bit. We'll see what I mean. Something a little slower and a little more relaxed, the Jade Temple. I do like the smell of incense.
caught these cicadas one more time. And our next port of call, Longhua. Another metro ride. This is Shanghai Longhua Martyrs Cemetery, which I sort of stumbled across. I just saw a park on a map and I thought, let's go and explore. If you like monuments to the cause and cicadas, this is the place to be. Out in the direct sun, it's absolutely roasting. But in this kind of bamboo grove, it's actually lovely and cool. I could spend all day here. I don't read Chinese, so I don't know what that means, but the yellow text on a red background is a dead giveaway. It's something government. I was going to subject you to another Buddhist temple visit. It was 5.04. Guess what time the doors closed to the public? 5 o'clock. Okay, I must remain calm. I must remain positive. Okay, we're back to the hotel now. We're going to freshen up and afterwards I'm going to take you out for a Chinese meal and we'll both explore and both witness the Shanghai skyline at night. I can't wait. This place is absolutely crazy. I'll be the first to admit that my face is no oil painting. So when I start attracting the chicks, I get alarm bells going. 
down at the Bund with a hundred million other people, a young lady comes over and starts talking to me. And I thought, right, okay. And yeah, it's just a chit chat. Very nice girl uh, was telling me all about how she likes to bake dim sims and steamed buns. Now that got my attention. And she's trying to be a professional cook. She'd just come back from Japan. And, you know, just a simple talk. There's nothing sinister going on. And then she started asking, say, she suggested, let's go for a drink. That's when the alarm bells went. And I just uh, gave an excuse. I need to go back to my hotel. Got an early rise in the morning. Uh, five minutes later, replaced by another woman. Same story, blah, 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 blah. Let's go for a drink or a coffee. And I thought, yeah, yeah this is a pattern forming here. Um, I managed to uh, sidestep her and then immediately replaced by another one and uh, managed to get around her as well. She wasn't overly impressed, but I, I was starting to think, what on earth is going on here? So I can't quite work out what the scam was, but there was definitely a scam of some sort because, firstly, these girls don't want to speak to me unless there's a, you know, a monetary reason in it. Um, they were quite happy. One was actually quite happy to go back to the bar at my hotel. Uh, someone suggested just coffee, innocent coffee. Either they're extremely friendly or there is a scam going on. Now, girl number two actually started to make a phone call halfway through our conversation. And I'm, I was thinking, is she actually rendezvousing with a friend or something as well? But um, it, was, it was too much of a pattern forming. So I managed to body swear of these uh, scammers. There was obviously something going on. Anyway, um, because of that, I didn't want to hang around Nanjing Road, even though it's packed. Uh, I thought, thought I'm attracting these scammers like bees to honey, and I'm going to get no peace. So I've been a really sad man. I've got some noodles, and I've got a kettle in my room, and I'm going to have some noodles for my dinner, and then I'm going to do some editing. Tell you what. See you shortly.